Hello everybody, this is Prowl and welcome to another Minecraft Keeping It Simple where we not only build a farm or show redstone contraptions but we also go through all the components within, make sure you guys understand everything and can use this knowledge to maybe build stuff of your own. And I can't really hide what I'm doing today because as you guys can hear, it's a chicken farm. Now this one right here, I dressed up a little bit, but it is actually quite small. It is one of the smallest chicken farms you can possibly build. And it is super easy. It may be the easiest chicken farm to build in all of Minecraft. On top of that, I love cranking in extra features. You see we got here that we have an up mode for if we want eggs in our chest. And we can put it down to get yummy, yummy chicken. So either way, we have two different ways to get all of our different things that we want to. We can get uh, eggs, which are great for trading, making other chickens, pull, pulling pranks on your friends. And of course, we all need that sustenance. We need that cooked chicken and feathers are great to make arrows and that sort of thing as well. Uh, as you can see, this, this thing's really, really simple. There is so little redstone here. It is amazing. So what are we going to do? Well, I think you guys know we're going to jump into building this thing right now. If you have been enjoying the Keeping It Simple series and you like this type of video, I need your help right now. You need to click that like button, click the subscribe, subscribe button, drop me some comments of how you're liking the videos, even maybe drop me some suggestions of other things you would like to see, and make sure you click that notification button. Every time one of these videos comes out, I would love you guys to watch it right away. If you click that notification button, you'll see exactly when they come out and you guys will get to be the first of you. All right, Mr. Pig, let's get to building the farm now. And to take a quick look through at the blocks you guys are going to use, we need several building blocks, one observer, one repeater, one comparator, one redstone torch, one lever, three hoppers, one dispenser. Get a dispenser, not a dropper. It has to be a dispenser. I will explain later. Later, A uh, chest or your, at least one chest, if not two. Um, you will need, where did my lava bucket? I had a lava bucket in there, I promise you. There was a lava bucket in there. <laughs> one bucket of lava, a slab, some... Uh, glass at least two chickens there's only one in there but there's eggs so that could count as two a trap door and there is an, an optional uh, redstone lamp as well let's go ahead and take a look at how you guys are going to throw all this together and make a farm first we are going to start out with our chest and we are going to use two to do a double chest and we are going to put a hopper in the back. You have to hold down your duck or shift button to put the hopper down into it. If you don't, you'll just end up opening it. We're gonna put one right here too. And then we're going to take our dispenser and put it right here. It is important that you use a dispenser and not a dropper. A dispenser will dispense the egg out, which will allow it to hatch. Whereas a dropper would simply just drop the egg as an item and then just you would just get eggs and eggs only in here. Um, that is the difference between the two the dispenser kind of uses the item so to speak kind of like the player would Whereas a dropper simply just drops it like if you hit your button to drop an item just like that So make sure you use that that's going to be the most common thing I get down in the comment section below pop probably um, Go ahead and throw a hopper into the side of that and that uses up all of the Can you please I'm trying to talk to people that use there's another one. Where are they coming from? Um, there's a uh, that's going to take up all of the hoppers and the chest that we need to use let's move on to the redstone that powers this thing now the redstone for this guy is really really simple really is we're going to place a block here and we're going to place a comparator right here now a comparator can read what is in this hopper i'm going to use this just to lock it you could put power beside hopper and it locks it my pack my texture pack allows you to see that via this red and basically just locking it means that it's not going to be able to get rid of its items and I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes you guys can see I have this comparator turned on right here and it can see the signal or the amount of items I have in here and it demonstrates that or gives that to you in the form of redstone the more items you have in the more redstone is lit up the less items you have in the less the redstone is lit up you see I had one I started with three I went to two now I'm at one and I take it all out, I don't get any signal, and that's turned off. Now, the length of the signal is not important. We don't care about that right now. I just wanted to give you guys a good demonstration, um, but let's take that out right here. It can do the same thing with this block right here. Actually, let's put that back super quick just to demonstrate one more time. This block is now powered just like that redstone was. See, the signal went straight through there. We're gonna use that, but we're gonna use that with a torch. So you can see that a torch is normally turned on. 
If you put the torch on a block that is powered, it is off. When you take that power away, it is on. We can get rid of this now. Now that torch is going to turn on and off and right here, it's not going to do us anything, but it's going to do something combined with an observer. Let's face it this way. An observer does just what it sounds like it does. It observes things and every time it observes something, it sends a red so signal just like that. See on off. Now we can also use that to power a dropper or a dispenser. In this case, we're going to do it with a dispenser. So now watch what happens when it observes something. See, it is shooting out items. We're going to use that to shoot out eggs. We're going to make it observe this guy right here. No, you. So now anytime this turns on or off, it's going to send a signal. So actually every time that this thing gets an egg, it is going to send two signals. Um, so you can see here, I'm actually going to grab some eggs really quick as a demonstration. Cause I like to demonstrate things to you guys. I'm going to throw one egg in. And as you can see, did it shoot it? Ah, because I don't have the locking system in yet. Let me get rid of this hopper just to show you. Oop, see, it shot that guy on out. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want to happen. And it shoots twice. So I could throw two in there. There it goes. Shot off twice. So uh, let's go ahead and let's put our, let's put our hopper back here. Cause we're going to need that. Now we need to make our cage for where our chickens are going to be. To make our lives easy to make this cage, we're going to put a block there temporarily. We're going to put a block on this side, on this side, on this side. And then I'm actually going to put a piece of glass right here because I like to see my chickens. We're going to see them right there. And the chickens can jump out just like the player can like this, right? We can't just have them right here. So we're going to need to build this up one taller, just like that. Now our chickens cannot get out. And I do recommend that you take a trap door um, or ladders, either way, whichever one you prefer. But I'm going to put a trap door right here see just like that you guys could pick a couple of ladders and put it there too the reason is i can promise you there's about a 127 percent chance that you're going to fall in here while you get the chickens in <laughs> at least i always do um last thing you want to do is have a whole bunch of chickens in here my yep yeah, fall in and then you don't have any way out because if you punch any of those blocks or, or mine any of them out the way, all the chickens you have in here, they're not going to be in here anymore. So I could just simply close that, jump up and get out. Or if you had a ladder, you could you could climb out either way. Um, we're going to utilize this trap door, though, to actually help get our chickens in. So I do recommend the trap door. You can also put a ladder down there in the bottom one if you want to. Now we're going to close in this area right here. What you could do is you could put a, a solid block right here. Put a solid block right here as well. And then you will want to actually, you'll want to double that up, put that right there. I like to use a piece of glass. Cause again, I want to see what's going on here. We're gonna put a piece of glass in front. Don't worry. That does not block your chest. If you use a solid block though, can't open your chest. So use glass. You can use a, a stair as long as it's facing in the right direction. Um, or actually a stair could face in any direction, but you're going to want to use probably a, a piece of glass is going to be best. And then I'm going to put another solid block right there. And we are going to put a, a smooth stones uh, or it doesn't have to be smooth stone. We're going to put a slab right here. Remember, hold down your duck button. That way you can place it. And you'll see now that it's covering up half of that dispenser, which is what we want. We can throw our bucket of lava right here. And then I recommend just for safety's sake, let's go ahead and just cap that guy off because nobody wants to accidentally fall in lava. Um, now, how does this thing work before we get to the egg portion um, for you guys? What's going to happen is every single time egg goes down through the system, it is going to shoot out a chicken. That chicken, baby chicken, when it does hatch, or the eggs are going to hit this piece of glass. And then every so often, one of those eggs hatches into a chicken, which where are my eggs at? Where are my eggs at? There's my eggs, which I can demonstrate by just bringing eggs. And you'll see here, if I throw enough of them, I get baby chickens. Uh, I don't remember the percentage chance. I don't know if it's like good grief. It's not very good. There we go. Uh, but there's a percentage chance that every egg you throw will give you a baby chicken. Same thing's going to happen here. Basically, what's going to be happening is we're going to have a whole bunch of chickens in here. They will lay eggs and every one of so many eggs will throw a baby chicken in here. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Once we get the chickens in, how that's going to look. Um, but essentially, those baby chickens are small enough to where their head, even though it looks like it's in the lava, is not actually in the lava. 
Um, and then once they grow, then their head goes into lava. They cook. All your goodies go down in here. Uh, one very specific thing I want you guys to know. If you're using an old chicken farm, your old chicken farm is probably not working right. I saw this trick from Rogue Fox, a good buddy of mine. I like to call him the chicken man because he loves making chicken farms. He makes one every season on Truly Bedrock. He has a lot of different chicken farms. I'll remember to link it in the description down below. Um, that way you guys can go check out Rogue Fox's uh, chicken farm as well. So we need to turn this into a system that can get us eggs because right now, well, actually, that's all it's going to do is get us eggs because all the eggs are going to go down here and into our chest before it can be shot out. So we're going to put a block right here just like this. And then we're going to put a block here just like this. We're going to put a redstone repeater right there. And then we are going to grab a torch. No, I don't want to turn the torch on. I want to grab the torch or not the torch, the lever. And you can put it here or here or here. It doesn't matter. Anywhere on this block. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it right here. And you can see that when we turn this on, this sends power to this block. This block is powered. This repeater, or you can use your comparator there, but I'm using a repeater. This repeater is now getting powered, and it is powering this block. That block is, can I get over here and see? See how that guy is red with my texture pack here? Since this block right here has power, it is stopping this hopper from sucking down items. This is what makes our chicken cooker work, okay? Now, when the eggs try to go down, they see that they cannot go into this. So they stay in the, in the, the, what is this guy? <laughs> this dispenser, words are hard. They go into this dispenser right here and then they stay in there long enough for this whole thing to trigger off and shoot them out basically. So whenever we do it this way, it goes, allows for eggs this way, allows for chickens. Um, you guys saw earlier, I gave you the option of using a redstone lamp right there, just like that. I don't know why I got rid of my lever, because I need that. Um, the redstone lamp's a good indicator. If it's on, you get chicken. If it's off, you get eggs. On chicken, off eggs. Any questions? No? Okay. Now it's time to catch her some chickens. And this is going to be the easiest way of doing this. We're going to make a little staircase to get up here, okay? just like that right there and then we want to put a block here here and here and then we'll put two more right here because we want to block those chickens the goal is that we're going to lure the chickens up here and then we're going to jump across and up they're going to try to get to us maybe put one more block right here they're going to try to get to us and they're going to fall right down in there so if we take our seeds Go punch some grass or do what you got to do to get some seeds. We're going to get some chickens to follow us. Let's get a couple more. The more chickens you get, the faster this is going to go. Okay. So we got some chickens here. We got four of them, which is great. Come on here, chicky, chicky. Here, chicky, chicky. Whoop. Five chickens, even better. And as we start to jump up here, see, they want the seeds. Come on. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that. Why is the cow coming up here? No cow. We got all of our chickens up there. Super, super easy. We can knock all those extra blocks out. Our chickens are up there. Now you have, hey, there he is. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> um, so now you have a couple options for this, okay? Option number one, first you get rid of these extras. Option number one, you leave this in egg mode and you get those chickens to drop some eggs. And then as those eggs drop down in there, Throw them in here and hatch more chickens. Option number two, get more than just one piece of wheat. Get a bunch of wheat. Hold down the shift button and click these guys and then make chicken babies. Lots and lots of chicken babies. Or option number C, you can keep finding chickens around your world and bring them in here too. Whichever way works best for you guys is totally fine. But as you can see, this thing, we're actually, we're done with it. We got the chickens in. This thing is working. Shall we do a proper demonstration? Let's do a proper demonstration. Now, as you can see, I got some baby chickens in here. Now, you're going to get chick more chickens faster the more chickens you have in here. You need to keep something in mind, though. In a single player world, it's probably okay to put a decent amount of chickens in there. You could probably have 30, 40, 50 in, maybe even more, depending on the device you're playing on, without too much problem. Um, the more chickens you put in here, though, 
the more lag you get because these chickens all sitting on top of each other like this causes collisions these chickens are all colliding with each other trying to push each other out the way but they can't they can't because they're trapped in that little cell this is a problem for the game because it is trying to process all of those collisions all the time so in a single player world try not to go too crazy with it on a multiplayer world it depends on what kind of multiplayer world you're on and how many people you're playing with and a lot of different factors but be mindful of your realm slash server mates don't do too many chickens probably somewhere if it's a really big like realm and you guys typically get a lot of lag you probably don't want more to have like maybe 10 in here uh, your average realm or server you could probably be okay with 20 or maybe even up to 30 i would not go over 30 um, because that that's going to start to cause a decent amount of lag so just be mindful don't do too many chickens but also keep in mind the more chickens you have there the more chicken you get out and we got some baby chickens in here instead of waiting for them to grow i'm going to cheat the system a little bit you guys can actually do this too um if you put like a wall or something right here it'll keep these guys out oh see you got some eggs we got some eggs popping through and if you got yourself a nice wheat farm you're getting a lot of seeds not only will other chickens come up to you to bother you but you can actually feed these guys they'll grow see and there he goes now i need to tell you something super important right now if you have old chicken farms um and it's not working right or you're not getting as much out of it it's because of how people used to design these they used to put the hopper you guys see how i had it over here to the side used to put the hopper on top of the dispenser that actually breaks the farm now because what happens is let's say you have 20 baby chickens in there and one grows up all 20 of those baby chickens will think that they can get over that hopper and then they'll try to climb out and then they actually all go into the fire as well they all die so make sure you build it this way otherwise you're not going to get really any chicken out of this so just make sure you do that little trick i learned that one from rogue fox so maybe he gets a plus one point actually he's plus two on me right now in the useful tips category um so make sure you subscribe to rogue fox as well like i said i'll, I'll link his video down below and before long your chest will start why do people always try go away stop trying to eat my grass um, and hopefully before long your chest will start looking like this you'll have lots of feathers lots of chicken lots of eggs coming through the system because everybody needs eggs because we, we all know that eggs are super fun for pranks and that is going to be all i appreciate you guys for stopping by for another episode uh, tutorial episode we can call it whatever we want an episode tutorial of keeping it simple in minecraft you guys make sure you click that like button subscribe to the channel ring the bell and i'll see you in the next one goodbye everybody